Greetings, Earthlings and photographers. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where you end up only using the center point for focus and then doing focus recompose where you, you move the camera to, to get the composition that you want? I have. It's certainly the simple way of doing things. Learning the other focus systems sometimes is a little bit more difficult and it doesn't always select the focus point that you want, right? So using that center point or one of the other points constantly makes it a little easier for you. It's also a pain in the tuchus to be able to switch back and forth between the different focus settings. So that's what we end up doing, the simple thing. I'm Planet Mitch from PlanetFindD.com. See the shirt? Uh, and I have a solution for you, but it involves the brand new Canon 5D Mark IV, which I have here in my hot little hands. Uh, and if you're interested, by the way, and you want to support me and my family and my two girls off in college now, uh, just go to planet5d.com slash bh for bnh or planet5d.com slash amazon to get anything you want on Amazon, and I'll get a little bit of commission which helps support everything we're doing at Planet 5D. And if you want to specifically go see the 5D Mark IV, go to planet5d.com slash 5D4, and that'll get you right to the info over on b &H's website. And then you just push the little buy button, and that's how simple it is. It's delivered to your door. So how do we solve this problem, and why is the 5D Mark IV so groundbreaking in terms of changing the way you fo use focus. And believe me, yesterday I went out shooting with this new methodology and it blew me away. I am just so thrilled. I had to make this video to be able to share it with you. Uh, and my thanks go out to a gentleman with the screen name of Tally Wacker, and don't ask me about that, uh, over on photography on the net, dot net or photography on the net. How to, it's that website. You can Google it and find it. Uh, great forums, by the way. I use them all the time. Uh, but this tip came from him, and I'm going to share with you the link to the video that he did where he goes through all of the menus on the 5D Mark IV, which is really pretty co cool, highlighting the new features. In order to get where we need to go for this brand new feature that's really awesome, you need to go to the custom controls. I'm using a tool called V-Control A810, I think is the model number from a company called Aperture, to be able to use the HDMI out and show you the menus. I can't show you the Q menu, which is how I normally get to it, especially with the touch screen. Uh, I can't use the touch screen because you see it's inactive right now. Uh, but I'll drive you through the old-fashioned way with the dials and the buttons. But you want to go to the autofocus menu number three, uh, and we're going to go into custom controls. Uh, if you're using the touch screen uh, and you push the Q button right over in the upper left corner, there's a little picture of the back of the screen. That's how you get to this same menu, the shortcut way. Uh, so let's go into custom controls. And this is where you see the shutter butt half press. We all want to do our shutter butt half press, right? The shutter button is a place where you normally have autofocus as well as metering happening. And if you do something called the back button focus, you reassign this AF on, which is the third button from the right, you reassign that to do the focus part and you change this to only do metering. And so let's do that. Uh, I have it set to metering and normally the default is that it is set to metering and autofocus start. So if you want to do the true back button focus, then you would set this to metering only. Now, what I've actually done is I've left that on autofocus and I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes, but typically you would just do metering here, but I've got a separate method for that and we'll get to that in a minute. So this is going to be rather long, so be patient, all right? So if I do set, so I now have it set to do both. Now normally, like I said, the AF on button do, does your back button focus. So let's go down to that one. Let's go down to that one. And 
notice there are some functions here so you can reassign that button to any of these other things like autofocus off or the FE lock or any of these other things. But something new here on the 5D Mark IV is if you press the info button, you can change a, the detail settings for this metering and AF start, which is what the default is again for the AF on. So I'm gonna press the info button. Now I have preset some of these. Normally these, these are just dashes, but I'm currently in the mode of uh, using this. So I have it set up slightly differently, but so you can have the start position. Let's dive into that. Either be your selected point, or if I scroll over here, that's the registered autofocus point. So you can have that set either one. I'm leaving it to the selected one. But this is where we start diving into the really cool stuff. So let's suppose that you want to do AI servo in your focus. Now that's used typically for things that are moving, right? So typically uh, in your drive mode for autofocus, you either have single shot or AI focus or AI servo. And typically people either do single shot or AI servo, right? So single shots for static things and AI servo is for motion. And you can go Google videos on that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I typically haven't been using AI servo because again, I do the focus and recompose thing. And so the one shot typically works for what I need it for, but we can change that. So let's see what happens if we go down here and click that. So we can either maintain the current setting, which is whatever your camera is currently set to for the autofocus options, or you can specify one of these different modes. And so let's say you want to use the case one where if you dive into the focus menus, you get all these different cases, right? So let's suppose I'm just going to uh, pick the first case. And so now you see that shows up here. And so what about the autofocus operation? Again, we were talking about one shot just a second ago. So I can either pick the current setting or one shot or AI servo for this button. So let's say I want it for one shot. Now, look at this. You can also say that I want this to be a specific area selection for my autofocus. So if you want to use all the focus points, you would pick this one. If you want to use some, then you can narrow down the different focus points. So if you're using center focus recompose, and maybe you want to use just a couple of the buttons or the focus points around the center, that's the one I currently have selected. So let me just say that. Uh, so if I do menu and go back, and now my back button focus, AF on, is set to all those things, right? So I'm going to do set. I'm going to do the set button. Now it's set. Now it's really set. But let's go down to the star button or the asterisk. Notice we can do the same thing that we just did. So let's suppose that I go in here and I'm going to do metering and AF start. Oops. I'm going to do info. So many menus here, forget all the buttons. Uh, and so I can pick different options here. Let's suppose I want to do the registered AF point. And uh, let's say I want this set to the bicycle guys. And I want AI servo for this because I had single point on the other one. And let's suppose that I have, you know, I want to do this one. Uh, so if I press menu, then I go back and I do set. And, and so now what I have on my camera is the shutter button currently does both. I, I had it set, right? I set it to do uh, both metering and AF start. The AF on button does single uh, AF mode. The star button does um, AI servo. And so as I'm shooting, if I press, and I can't do that because otherwise the screen will go away, but if I press the AF on button, I'm getting a single point shot for my autofocus. If I move my thumb over to the star button, which is very easy to feel while you're shooting, I can switch to a different focus mode. Da -da -da! That's, that's incredible. If 
And it, it maybe it doesn't sound so brilliant to you right now, but if you have the 5D Mark IV, try it. So let's suppose you're shooting portraits and you typically, you know, are going to do single autofocus. You're going to use that uh, AF on button, but then you walk out the door and you're going to start, start shooting something moving. Or maybe your model, you decide to have her start running towards the camera. So now you just use the star button. You don't have to change any other settings on your camera. You don't have to fundle, fun, <laughs> fundle. You don't have to fumble with the focus and the, to the, and use the wheel and do all these other things to pick your points. If you know what your registered settings were for those, then bingo bango, you've got three different settings for your autofocus. And I, I mentioned, by the way, that, you know, I have my single, uh, my shutter button set to autofocus. So that's focusing differently than my AF on. So I have three different focus methods with my three different buttons. And guess what? I can do a fourth one. Uh, if you use the uh, depth of field preview, which is down here right next to the lens, that's this fourth one down here. I can go down and I can do the same thing. I can set the detail settings for that. So I can have four different focus settings simply by pushing and holding a different button while I'm working. It's amazing. It's incredible. I really am very excited about this. To me, this is the one thing that I would really love to have on every Canon camera. Of course, maybe they'll be adding that in the future. Maybe not to the lower level ones, because this is an advanced pro feature, probably. Because people that are just consumers, they don't need this kind of stuff. They just point and shoot, right? But that's four different buttons with four different autofocus settings. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> and thanks again to Tally over there on the photography on the net. My mind was blown yesterday, because guess what? Not only do we have four focus buttons, but we have up here on the 5D Mark III, we have custom function one, custom function two, and custom function three. And guess what? This is like crazy. You can change these settings for all your different buttons and then register those to custom button one. And then you can change them all and set that to custom function two and then change them all again and do that to custom function three and you have 12 sets. Now, if you can remember all of that, <laughs> you're better than I am. But this is just, to me, this is just like mind blowing. I know I said that, it's mind blowing. Four focus settings three custom buttons. You can set them up any way you want to, and this is just amazing. Again, that's only available on the Canon 5D Mark IV. Go to planet5d.com slash 5D4, or slash BH for all of B&H, or slash Amazon for all of Amazon, and even if you're buying diapers or hand wipes or any of those things, that helps me out a little bit. So if you like this, of course, do the typical things, subscribe and go to Planet 5D and subscribe to our email newsletter and come over to Planet 5D because we're always giving stuff away. We have all sorts of great things going on at Planet 5D besides the news and showing you great things like this. Oh, but this one, this one just really got me and I had to share it with you. Oh, P.S. Uh, I did record this on the iPhone and I used the Rode VideoMic Me for a little mini microphone attached to the iPhone so that I could get better audio than just using the regular iPhone microphone. So thanks to Rode for this. So check out the video mic me if you're doing any kind of selfie video, maybe you do reports like this and you want just a little bit better option. Great little product, use it all the time. Thanks to Rode for that. I am over and out.